let me uh, let me return to a subject that we visited about earlier and it has everything to do with this topic of this hearing and that is Keesler Air Force Base uh, madam secretary you will be visiting Keesler on May 29th uh, of course we in Mississippi are proud of Keesler and the fact that they won the 2013 Air Force Installation Excellence Award and we look forward to hosting you in Mississippi and on the Gulf Coast um, I want to restate my belief that the Air Force Total Force Plan's proposal to relocate C-130J aircraft from Keesler Air Force Base to Little Rock is short-sighted. This move will adversely impact our intra-theater airlift capability at a time when our services are evolving toward a more rotational deployment model. I believe the Air Force must make force structure decisions based on long-term global force requirements as well as concrete and defensible data. And I am sticking to my script because I'm choosing my words carefully this morning. I am convinced that the transfer of C-130Js from Keesler will not actually uh, produce promised financial savings. Since a new airlift group would have to be physically established at Little Rock, it seems to me that establishing a new group at Little Rock would in fact cost additional dollars because it would require the costly relocation of military and civilian full-time employees. The numbers just do not add up to savings. Now, during our Air Force posture hearing on April 10, I asked the Air Force to provide this committee and my office with written answers to specific questions about the proposed Keesler C-130J move. Our committee has not received these answers. So I hope you'll commit to getting answers back to me uh, perhaps before the end of the week. Um, on March 11, General Selva provided a question for the record to this committee that states, quote, there is no cost to move 10 C-130Js from Keesler to Little Rock. In fact, there are savings associated with this move, with the largest coming from the merger of manpower. However, following a meeting with Lieutenant General Jackson of the Air Force Reserve, an Air Force Reserve Command provided a written response, the, the Air Force Reserve Command provided a written response to Congressman Stephen Palazzo of Mississippi. That said, and I quote, keeping the 10 C-130Js at Keesler would save 209 positions, unquote. I understand that these positions are new overhead positions composed of medical personnel support and group staff. Now, who is this committee to believe, and who is Congressman Palazzo's committee to believe? General Selva, who said during his nomination hearing on March 11 that moving the C-130Js to Little Rock would save jobs, or the written response from the Air Force Reserve Command saying that keeping the aircraft at Keesler will save 209 jobs. I hope you can see why senators would be confused by these conflicting statements. I would also hope you would go back and relook this entire proposal that appears not only to be rooted, not, not to be rooted in any financial savings at all. Finally, I would point out to members of this committee, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Ranking Member, that the National Commission on the Structure of the Air Force's recommendations do not specifically endorse or recommend the transfer of C-130Js based at Keesler. In fact, the C-130Js at Keesler are already part, already part of one of the most successful total force installations in the country with active and reserve component airmen working seamlessly together. All of the efficiencies and synergies the Air Force would hope to obtain at Little Rock are already in place at Keesler. As such, I do not buy the Air Force total force justification for moving the C-130s to Little Rock. Now, I do not expect to resolve this issue this morning at this hearing, but I strongly suggest, General and Madam Secretary, that it would be prudent for the Air Force to consider keeping these aircraft at Keesler in order to provide the best value to the warfighter and the taxpayer. So in summary, from either a total force consideration or the consideration of taxpayer dollars, this move 
from Keesler to Little Rock simply does not add up. And uh, I thank the committee for uh, their indulgence in this respect. 